Hi, I'm Catherine Mortner and I'm a social worker and play therapist at the Anna Freud Centre. Uh, I wanted to talk about something today which is really important to me and I think it's important in all of our lives and that is play. Um, the benefits of play might be more obvious when we're thinking about little, little children, so babies playing peekaboo or toddlers splashing in puddles. Um, primary school children zooming around the playground in their imaginary worlds together. Um, but there are loads of ways of being playful as young people and as adults too, which can really lighten our moods, help us connect with the silly, fun part of ourselves and also help us connect with others. Um, obviously, when we're struggling with our mental health, uh, it's harder to connect with those playful parts of ourselves. It's harder to um, be spontaneous, find that kind of energy to be silly or um, let our imaginations run wild. Um, but I think it's even more important um, that we try and do that. So I have a couple of suggestions about how that might be more possible. One is to keep an eye out as you go around the world for other people being playful, being silly, being spontaneous, enjoying themselves. Um, for example, what comes to my mind is um, a child climbing up on the wall so they can walk on the wall instead of on the pavement and the joy they get from that. Or um, I recently walked past a building site where the, where the builders seemed to be having a break, maybe waiting for delivery or something, and they had a football and they were all just booting the ball back and forth and having five minutes of kind of playful time with their colleagues. Um, and once we start kind of opening our eyes to those playful activities that people find time for in their lives, we might start noticing that those opportunities are actually there in our lives too, and making most of them. So the second thing I suggest is kind of looking out for those chances to do that kind of, be playful in that way yourself. It might be that you find yourself at the top of a hill and something kind of pulls you to just running down the hill, just letting yourself run and just enjoying the feeling of the wind in your face and in your hair. There's nothing to stop you doing that and it can feel so funny and silly or your heart beating and you're kind of grinning to yourself at the end of it. It might also be that you're stuck at home and you're bored and you decide to empty out your wardrobe and you find some silly things that you want to dress up in or you're doing your makeup and you want to do something way more outrageous than you usually do. These kind of things um, can just connect us, as I said, with our, our kind of playful parts. And I think in doing that, um, we're really looking after ourselves and nurturing a part of ourselves that um, otherwise we kind of forget and lose touch with. So I really hope that that's something that you can do this summer and that it brings some joy and some fun to your summer and helps you stay, stay well.